Hello, my name is Michael and in this tutorial we're going to build a super cool custom countdown timer um, with a lot of different effects on it and a lot of cool things happening as it's counting down. Now let me show you how that looks like. Okay, so we've got this countdown timer with the, with the ticking sound, it's changing colors, there are a few animations happening. And then it sends you to um, a specific layer. So I'm a big fan of countdown timers. I like to use them in almost all projects that I create. They are a great way to engage the learner and make them really pay attention um, to what's happening in the course. So in this tutorial, we're going to rebuild the countdown timer step by step, and you'll be able to use it in whatever project you like in the future. So I'll see you inside. Okay, so we're inside Storyline now and um, let's see how this project is built and then let's build it together step by step. So first off, this, is, this was built on a master slide and I recommend you do it this way because it will save you a lot of time and you can just reuse this slide every time you have um, uh, you have a quiz coming up. So obviously uh, there will be more stuff on this slide if it was a quiz uh, if it was a quiz slide, you have a timer, maybe you have like um, a tracker, maybe you're counting points. It's always nice to introduce gamification in these sorts of projects. Um, you you have other graphical elements um, and you just reuse this master slide for uh, each and every one of your um, quiz slides. But to keep this short and nice and easy, uh, we'll just build the timer today. And in some of my future tutorials, uh, we'll build an entire quiz slide from scratch with, with points tracking and um, explosions and animations and sound effects and uh, all sorts of exciting things that <clears throat> will really take your projects to the next level. So if we go to view and then slide master, you will see I've created uh, a separate layout called quiz. And like I said, this time we only have the timer on it. So now let's create a new layout. So it's nice to rename it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just call it Countdown Tutorial. But obviously you should call it something that is more aligned with your project. Um, the first thing we have to do is we have to create a the shape, which is in our case, a simple circle. So let's just make it um, 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And let's also align it to center, align it to middle. Now, before I started recording this video, I came up with a specific color palette that I would like to use um, building this timer. And I recommend you do this with all of your projects. There are wonderful sites out there that um, can give you inspiration. They can give you, they can show you trending or popular color, uh, color palettes or uh, they have built in um, palette generators, which will allow you to create your own color palettes. But I, I highly recommend you do this with all of your projects. So if we click on that and we go to shape fill, basically these five colors over here are the colors that I picked. And the good thing is it automatically generates them in different shades and tints. So we've got this color, but uh, the the, <clears throat> the further we go down, the darker it gets, basically. So that's a really cool feature that you should take advantage of. Uh, so in our case, the main color will be this green color. Um, and I'll actually select not the main one, but the one beneath it. And I'll tell you why in a second. So this is, this is our um, main color. 
I'll also add an outline and I'll make it like five pixels. I want to make it um, thicker this time. <clears throat> and now let's call this top circle. And you understand why in just a moment. Now, if you remember from the preview, the circle actually changes its color. It goes from green to yellow and then to orange slash red uh, when there are about two seconds left. I think this is a really cool effect. So now let's um, build this into the circle. We'll use states and we have to create two more states. We'll call this one yellow. It turns yellow at about five seconds left. And let's change the color of it to yellow. And the third state, let's call it orange. It turns orange when there are about um, two seconds left. Okay, changing it to orange. Perfect. Okay, we're done with the top circle. Now let's create the numbers. Um, it's a very simple task. I just press Control T um, and I will write the number 10. I will make it, I'll bold it and I'll make it larger, maybe 50 pixels. I'll make sure it's aligned right in the center of that circle. And now let's add a few things to that number. The first thing we have to add is an entrance animation, which um, for this particular project will use the zoom animation. We'll make it 0.5 seconds long. And that's it. Now we have to duplicate this 10 more times, basically. So I'll just, um, I'll just speed up the video, not to waste your time. Okay. I'm finally done creating the numbers. Um, I just remembered that we need to make them not 0.5. Uh, we need to make the, okay, just rename this one. So we need to make the animation not 0.5 seconds long, but actually 0.2, uh, 0.25. So one quarter of a second. Uh, it just looks better. Now, uh, I know it looks like a mess, but if we select all of them, and we go to format and then align them to center and then align them to middle. You'll see they all stack on top of each other. Now, if we align them, just have to align them in the circle. That's it. Okay, we've created all the numbers. We align them to the center, to the middle. We also align them right in the middle of the circle. Now, what we need to do is we need to make each of them one second long and then we need to sequence them basically so okay i'm ready now the last thing we have to do is we want to make this um the zero to only last for about 0.5 seconds. We don't want to stay there for, for a full second. Now let's close. Um, let's close the master view and let's preview what we've created so far. So the next thing we have to do is we have to make that circle change its color based on how many seconds there are left. So let's go back to view and then slide master view. Before we start creating the triggers, we have to move the numbers to the right just a little bit. We don't want them to start immediately. So 
I'll just make them start at some um, 0.5 seconds. But we're still keeping the top circle oval from the start till the end. Okay, now let's create some triggers. So the first trigger it would be to change the state of the top circle to, um, to yellow when the timeline reaches 4.5 seconds. Okay, and now let's copy and paste this trigger and let's just change it to orange when the timeline reaches 7.5 seconds. Okay. Now, before we preview this, let's also add an animation to the circle itself. And the animation we're going to add will be an exit animation and it will be the wheel animation and we'll make it 11 seconds long. As for the entrance animation, that's why we move them to the right a little bit. So they start at 0.5 seconds. We'll add a zoom animation, make it 0.5 seconds. I don't know, but it messed up the exit animation. I should have added it first. Keep this at 11. Okay, perfect. Now let's exit out of the slide master and let's preview the project. Okay, this already looks pretty good and I'm sure you can now understand why we need a bottom circle because as this wipe animation is playing, we don't have anything underneath to serve as a background for the number. So that's why we have to go back to the slide master and we need to add a second circle. Okay, let's duplicate this one. Let's call it bottom circle. Let's also send it to back. Okay. And now let's play with the states. We double click on the first state, go to format, and now it's time to change the fill. So we selected this one, and I will select the main one, which is the lighter green. But before we do that, I just realized that I selected the wrong green color on the main circle, the top circle. So let's just edit that real quick. It needs to be the one underneath. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're done with the first one. Now the second one, as you can see, it's slightly, it's, it's lighter. It's still the same green color, but it's um, more to the white balance and um, just generally lighter. So we need to repeat this for the other colors as well. So we double click on the yellow one, shape fill, and we select the main yellow. And then we go to the, we double click on the, well, not double click, we just click on the orange and then we again select the lighter orange. Okay, we're done editing the states. Okay, um, we need to remove uh, the exit animation and now we just need to align it with the main circle, just like that. Okay, perfect. Now we need to add two more triggers for the bottom circle. So change state of bottom circle to yellow when the timeline reaches what was it? 4.5 seconds. Okay. Copy, paste, and let's change it to orange when the timeline reaches 7.5 seconds. And now let's preview this. So let's close the master view and let's preview.
All right, you can see this looks much, much better than the last time we previewed it. Now what we need to do is we need to add the ticking sound in the background. So let's go back to Slide Master, go to Insert Audio. By the way, you have this included uh, underneath the video. You'll be able to download the Storyline project file, the ticking animation as well. And I'll also add my color palette in there. So there it is, the kink. Let's move it to the bottom, make it start when the first number appears. Okay, let's duplicate it one more time. Okay. Need to move it so it shows after one second. And I think, I think that's good. Let's just quickly preview this just to be sure we got it right. Okay, perfect. We don't have a tick on the zero, but that's fine. Uh, you can add like um, a different sound effect when it reaches zero, maybe uh, a sound effect that you would play when you fail uh, in a game or, or something else. So the only thing left for us to do would be to change the background because I don't like this pure white background. I'll just make it gray, light gray. And there you have it. Uh, a, a custom countdown timer with a lot of cool effects added to it and, uh, and a ticking sound effect in the background. Now you can use this in whatever project you like. Uh, you can use this as a cool addition to your quiz slides and to introduce some urgency um, and more excitement in the courses that you create. Like I said, you have access to all files and all resources. Uh, somewhere in the description just just find the link and if you're watching this on YouTube please like and subscribe I'm posting twice per week um, cool tutorials like this one and if you need help with your storyline or e-learning projects feel free to reach out or book a call with me I'll be happy to jump on a call with you and see if we are a good fit so that was all for today thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video